Will we, can we expect any more Guantanamo transfers uh, in the next nine days now? And then a second part, you both have been speaking about the role in Turkey and Russia. Did the, did the Turks, and uh, Mr. Secretary, you spoke about this a lot on that trip, on the importance of constant communication with your Turkish counterparts. Did the Turks inform you that they would be working with the Russians on Abba? Um, well, with respect to the second, I'll let the chairman clarify uh, uh, that as, as well. We don't see that occurring. Um, so there, were, there was oh, there were overflights in Abba. By we, they North. have co they have deconflicted uh, their operations like we do, um, but yet, more than that, we haven't seen. Um, and. Yeah, we, so just to confirm, we have not seen any uh, indication of Russian-Turkish coordination. We have seen Russian strikes take place in and around Al Bab. There's no evidence that those are coordinating with the Turks. As, as you may know, I speak quite frequently with my Turkish counterpart. Uh, he's, he's very open and transparent about the communication that he's had with our counterpart, uh, Gerasimov. But he's also said that uh, the Turks at this time are not cooperating or coordinating uh, conducting operations in conjunction with uh, the Russians. Have they, have they asked the Russians to stop then? I mean, if this is their area? I can't, I, I can't comment on that. I, I really don't know that they've asked them to stop. But, uh, and I'm not aware that those strikes have been uh, anywhere in their proximity to Turkish forces or put them at risk either. Karen? Uh, 